Hello, my name is Zachary Gentili. I'm here for Public Health 319, and I'm also here to discuss my project, which is on UV radiation and cancer. Let's get it, baby! First things first, let's figure out what UV radiation is. UV radiation is a form of electromagnetic radiation ranging from 100 nanometers to 400 nanometer wavelengths. And our greatest source of UV radiation actually comes from the sun, and it exists in three different wavelength ranges. And the smaller the wavelength, the deeper the skin penetration. So UVA, which goes from 315 to 400 nanometers, are tanning rays, which account for 95% of UV radiation. UVB, which goes from 280 to 315 nanometers, are burning rays. And UVC goes from 100 to 280 nanometers, which is the smallest. So this would penetrate our skin the deepest. So you might be wondering, how exactly does UV radiation cause cancer? Well, first, let's figure out what cancer is which is a phenomenon that causes unproliferated cell division at the molecular level. And if you look at the left, you can see that if a damaged cell in normal cell division happens or occurs, they undergo apoptosis. But in regular cancer cell division, they just keep growing. And that's caused by genetic mutations, which ultimately result in bypassing checkpoints within normal cell division processes. And then beyond skin cancers such as melanoma, UV radiation also causes sunburn, accelerated skin aging, and even cataracts. And studies show that UVB and UVC rays result in DNA adducts, which can interfere with normal cell division processes. So like anyone else, you might be thinking, wow, I don't want cancer. How can I fight this? Well, typically, the best way to fight UV radiation is by using SPF 30 sunscreen. And according to the Canadian Cancer Society, they highly recommend this, 30 or higher. And they also recommend seeking shade or wearing a hat and sunglasses for those already at high risk.